Hi, I'm Heidi from Garden Crossings, and today I'm going to show you a bunch of the proven winter hostas side by side out here in a garden. Sometimes I think it's nice when you can kind of do a side by side comparison just to see like what the different leaves colors are, the size of the plant, the textures the plants give in a garden. So let's just take a little bit closer look. I'm just going to be naming the plants. If you're looking for more details on them, you can head to our website, gardencrossings.com, where we can give you the height, the spread, all that good information. This informative video is mostly just to show you the size of the plant in the garden as long as the as well as the color of the foliage. Let's take a look. In the back there, we've got the beautiful seducer hosta. That is a grouping of three different plants. Pretty nice sized plants right now as I'm looking at them. They stand about 18 to 24 inches tall and about 24 inches wide. Now that might not be that mature height as the plants continue to grow, but I'm gonna just tell you as I'm seeing it here today. In the background there, we have the Hosta Voices in the Wind. Obviously, you can see it's a little bit smaller, a little bit shorter than the Seducer. Really beautiful textured wavy foliage on that. Um, that one's got some nice purple flowers that are just starting to come up. And that one, just looking at it here, is about 12 or so inches tall and about 18 or so inches wide. Hope Springs Eternal is the one right in front of us here. Hope Springs Eternal is a little bit kind of like the Voices in the Wind. Uh, the difference is though, is the color of the foliage is just a little bit different. There's more blue, blue tones here in the Hope Springs Eternal. Again, it's got that nice wavy edge to the leaf. Really a pretty plant. If you're just looking for just a, not a big hosta, but just a nice kind of medium sized hosta that's got a lot of texture and interest, Hope Springs Eternal looks really cool. In the back there, we have the Sound of Music. That's kind of a newer variety and looks like it's been recently planted, so I'm sure this isn't near its mature size, but really nice big leaves, really a lot of texture to those leaves. With beautiful kind of very, very pale lavender flowers. Up front, we have kind of a fun one. This is the Hosta Wee, which has a little bit more thin strappy leaves, but they're also very wavy kind of a fun one to say. And this one adds just a lot of unique texture into the garden. As we head on over, they continue to get bigger and bigger. The bright yellow one here though, that really adds a lot of color to this garden is the Autumn Frost Hosta. Beautiful creamy, wide creamy margins, kind of blue centers there. And these are pretty mature plants. They're about 24 inches wide and about 12 inches tall. Setting behind Autumn Frost, we have the Hudson Bay Hosta. This one's getting bigger. This one's almost three foot, a three foot wide and about foot and a half to two foot tall. Kind of more blue texture to it, large leaves, um, really puckery, thick substance to those leaves. Looks really beautiful. Up on the top of the hill is the Big Daddy. That is the, and actually I shouldn't say that because I do think that is a Hosta name. But this one here is Hasta Empress Wu. This is the big guy. So Empress Wu is about four foot wide and about three foot tall. And you can see those are just giant leaves. If you're looking to make like one of those cement bird bath things, this would be a perfect leaf to use to create a mold uh, for such a thing. Next to it is the Wu La La Hasta, which again is a big guy, just like Empress Wu. It's about how four or five foot across and about three foot tall. Again, a giant hosta. You want to make sure that you have a perfect spot when you are planting these big hostas. One thing I will mention is when I planted mine, it took about three years before I really felt like I had any substance to my Empress Wu and my Empress Wu La La. So be patient with them. They're a little bit slow to start, but once they take off, you can see here the reward that they'll bring into the garden. The beautiful white centers with a kind of a nice green edge there is the Hosta Miss America. Again, if you're looking for a Hosta that's gonna add a bright splash of color into like a dark shady area, Hosta Miss America is certainly gonna be one to add that bright splash of color. If you're looking for a beautiful blue Hosta, here we have the Hosta Water Slide. And you can see how it adds a lot of those blue tones into the garden. This one too has got that really ruffly edge on each of the leaves. 
creating a lot of texture. Pretty much a solid color, just that nice kind of a gray blue look. Look how it pairs there with autumn frost. That is a match made in heaven. Again, not a very big hosta. It's only, oh, maybe 18 to 24 inches wide, 12 to 18 inches tall. Uh, so fairly compact in size, but really a lot of beauty. One thing I'm seeing here is, although I shouldn't say one thing, I'm noticing a lot of ruffled edges, big, big leaves, bright, bold colors to add to the garden. So, you know, hostas don't have to be boring if you learn to plant them properly. And this is a great way, well, I shouldn't say properly. We all have our way of doing things, right? But if you're looking to use hostas to create just a patchwork of color, don't be afraid to stick with one. Go with many different colors, place them according to their size, their height, and their spread, and you'll have a beautiful patchwork of color in your shade to part shade gardens. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. I'm Heidi from Garden Crossings.